Yeah, I was talking a little earlier with Scott Moninger about the, the l weekly time trial series from right, Lions right. to Boulder, and uh, I've seen you in the results there, and it seems like your TT's doing all right. I mean, you're definitely, it seems like every time you do it, you're like top three, top four. Yeah, no, and it's... Um, really good times. Yeah, time trial is something that I'm still working on a lot with, and um, finally really getting comfortable with it this last month. I mean, took the bike home, and I've been doing those, the Wednesday rides, and it's really helpful just to... Just to kind of practice, you know, just kind of the preparation for the TTs and just how I race them, and um, it's been really, it's been, you know, each week I've improved, so it's it's been good. It's been good, good confident builder. So. I mean, in terms of what type of rider you see yourself as, I mean, are you do you sort of stage racer the category you fall under, or one day guy, or climber? Or, I mean, you're not, I wouldn't, you're not a sprinter. Right. Uh, I don't know. I'd just say an all arounder. I'm, I mean, I can, I can climb pretty well. I wouldn't say I'm a pure climber. Um, um, I, you know, I can definitely finish fast sometimes, you know, not a pure sprinter either. So I'm just kind of in that kind of all arounder category, I would say. But, um, so maybe, you know, stage racing. Nailing down the TT is definitely an yep. integral part of becoming a stage right. racer. And just for people who are watching, maybe don't realize that Jonathan's a bigger guy. <laughs> What's your height and weight? Um, um, about one six one, um, roughly. I don't know, anywhere from one sixty eight to sixty five. I don't know, somewhere. Yeah. I've I've kind of I've kind of the last few years I mean, more and more riding I'm doing I'm just kind of slimming out a little bit more. So. Sure. Um, but yeah, no, I'd I'd love to be a stage racer. I'd love to, you know, do really well at the time trial, um, and also climb well. So, so uh, that's kind of where I'm headed. Where I'd like to go with the. My career. Of the national level races, is there any one that sort of fits your skill set the best? Is there one race where you think I could come back and win this one day? Like this is a this is a race for me. Yeah, I mean, um, had success. You know, a lot of the more altitude climbing races last year. Um, actually, doing Cascade in a few weeks here. I've that's a, that was I had success there last year. Um, like to do well there again. Um, you had good Utah last year as well. Yeah, right? yeah, Utah went really well. That was a great race to be a part of. I was pretty bummed that. Um, Signing back. Right. Yeah. Um, so, just, uh, but yeah, no, it's just like Tuna and Cascader coming up. I'd really like to do well at those, mainly because I've done them before. Right. Up until now, every race I've done is pretty much brand new, so. Yeah, you're the opposite end of the spectrum as Moniger, who's done every one of them. Right, yeah, if I have any questions, I can always ask him because yeah, he's, he's done it. How valuable is he as a, as a resource, especially living in the same town as him? Yeah, he's great. I mean, um, you know, last year was definitely someone that I, uh, you know, looked up to as a, as a rider in town. And, and you know, I basically just, if he would go, I'd go, you know, kind of thing. And um, I knew, you know, I know how smart he is. He's so dialed in. He's so efficient. Um, he knows he knows how to win. And uh, so he's a, he's a great, great kind of... Uh, adversary you know just to where I want to go and someone to follow and um, but yeah so it's it's great having him on the team you know some of the older guys like Mike Sayers and Moniger have been great so pretty lucky to have those guys on the team. With the team talking about going Continental Pro next year obviously that would include either living in Europe or spending large amounts of time right amounts of time periods of time in Europe I mean is that uh, you're full fully behind that so something I mean you're ready to leave the Boulder bubble <laughs> Yeah, no, it's. I think it'd be a great experience. I'm not uh, too sure on you know the exact schedule. I'm, from what I've heard, it's uh, you know month there, month here, kind of thing, back and forth. Probably not as much as slipstreams over there, but um, but, but pretty mu pretty close to that kind of schedule is what I'm from getting from Gavin and the other guys. And that's exactly what you want to be doing. I mean, it's, it's yeah. I mean, uh, do you look down the road and think pro tour one day? Or are you taking it season by season? No, it's definitely something you keep in the back of your mind. You know, it's it's kind of what we're all shooting for. You know, just to see how far we can go, and um, it'd be great to be a part of that. Um, it's, uh, just want to learn as much as I can this year, and uh, you know, apply that to all next year. And um, excited for the rest of the season. Still a lot of racing to go, so I'm looking to kind of get some results. So. And yeah, I heard you t telling Scott you're off to Laramie, Wyoming for the Dead Dog Classic <laughs> right. this weekend, which is uh, two days, three races. Right. Yeah, it's uh, been home kind of since uh, pretty much since Italy. Uh, races I was scheduled to do got canceled. I was supposed to do Tour de Ney, but they, you know, they canceled the road race and just you know didn't go up there for the crits. And then Tour de Utah was supposed to be right right, right about now, and those got canceled. So I've been home quite a bit doing a lot of local races and. Um, 
it's definitely been great training. I mean, the guys, local guys here in Boulder can definitely throw it down. So. Who are you riding with? Who are you training with? Uh, you know, a lot of times I train my own, on my own, but um, some of the few Einstein guys, you know, just friends I have, you know, I train with Jason, Donald, and um, that's, for, you know, for the most part, that's pretty much it. Most of, you know, when the BMC guy, Scott, when he's in town, and, um, you know, just kind of mix it up a little bit. You going to have a te any teammates up in nope, uh, there? No, nope, no, nope. solo, so we'll see. I'm sure Vitamin Cottage and all those guys will have a ton of guys, so see so how it goes. I'm excited. That's tough, huh? Dude, doing a race because uh, people who don't know Laramie is definitely a, a windy right. area. Yep. It's tough trying to, even if you're one of the strongest guys in a race, racing in the wind with no teammates. Can be right. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, it's gonna be tough. I mean, I think, I think my tactic is just to kind of uh, follow, follow some of the guys. And there's, uh, you know, the road race is pretty hard. There's two, you know, ten thousand foot climbs, and I mean, you know, where you're going up to ten thousand feet, ten thousand feet elevation, yeah. and. Um, you know, hopefully there's a selection, and, and then it's just down to a few guys kind of near the end. So we'll so see. We'll see what happens. Road race Saturday, crit Sunday morning, time yep. trial Sunday evening. Well, yep. By the time people are watching this, this race will be over. So uh, you yep. can go, go to yep. Dead Dog Classic and check the results. Yep. Hopefully you're at the yep. top. Yep, that'd be great. Jonathan, so. thanks for coming by. Thanks I appreciate a lot, Neil. the time. Thanks a lot.